welcome good afternoon everybody welcome back to my channel i am paranormal witness girl and today it's monday january the 30th um, and it's currently 3 4, 7 p.m and the weather is 87 degrees fahrenheit and we are in fort lauderdale beach and or las olas boulevard So I wanted to film because it's a beautiful, shiny, bright day. Um, and in my previous videos, it was a little gray and dark because the weather was not that great. Uh, so today it's a perfect day and I just wanted to show you guys how how a local leave or like if you're a tourist, how you're gonna be seeing Fort Lauderdale Beach when you're here or if you're never here already. So welcome to the channel. I have my windows open because I want you to hear, um, you know, the noise outside and what's going on. So you have a, you know, idea. If there's too much music, I will put up my windows up because I don't want to be copyrighted. But this is how it looks. It's pretty. I would say it's packed. Wow, it's Monday. It's a lot of people here. You know what? I don't complain them. It's probably people from up north who's having like major snowstorms. And right now we're here, we're living life. Like we're living our best lives. Again, my motto is um, I live where you vacation. So everybody seems to be having a good time. It's really hot. It just went up by two. So it's 89 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what southern Celsius, so you have to look it up. Um, yeah, we use a Fahrenheit in the United States. So yeah, this is how it looks. We are in Las Olas Boulevard, so welcome, welcome. I don't know what this girl is crossing. No, no, it's green. So this is how it looks. I'm currently driving on 15 miles per hour. Um, I think the max I think is 25. But yeah, no, you have to go lower than that because you know people just randomly jaywalking and crossing. They don't wait until you know the pedestrian path. So they're just okay, I guess. I hope you're having a good time looking at this video because it's the most awesome thing ever. I am jealous. I kind of wanna like I should have brought my my you know swim shoe. I should have just go and lay down on the beach, but I guess I forgot. Um, yeah. So this is the bridge. I think I mentioned before. This is from the Ritz Carlton Hotel that they have their own bridge for their own um, guests that they just cross. They don't have to wait for the pedestrian to cross like in the street level. It's just the bridge. Um, you can rent or like get a day for pool pass, that's what it's called. Um, and you can just um, stay in the pool or rent one of those chairs and umbrellas and just relax at the beach. Um, this district's name is Sebastian Street. And there's a lot of public parking. So if you're driving, don't f think that there's not gonna be enough parking. We have a lot of parking. You can even park in what's it called the hotels. You obviously have to pay for a fee but yeah you, you will be able to find a lot of parking and it's very affordable it's not crazy expensive so you should know that and then this bridge is for the Westin hotel so yeah look how beautiful it looks oh I love it <laughs> I love it I love my city I mean Fort Lauderdale's Fort Lauderdale nothing can beat us not even Miami It's a different vibe, it's so relaxed, everybody's so cool and collected. I mean, you're on vacation basically, um, yeah. The following street is Bayshore Drive. I don't know how people be exercising and running with this heat, like I'm 
I'm dying to turn on my AC on because it's very hot. That's how um, it looks on a Monday afternoon. And then they have these um, pedestrian spots. So you have to do it. You have no choice but to do it because um, I have a cop next to me. So you have to follow the rules. So they're probably going to get a ticket. They're probably going to see. Hold on. Let me stop. Yep, police is next to me, so I have. There is um, lifeguards in every, I'll say like every corner, but I'm not sure. I mean, I think that there's a plaque that it tells you when it's on a, um, a lifeguard on duty. So you have to make sure you do, you watch that and you know, look out for that. Again, that's a lot of, um, Chairs and umbrellas to be rented. I don't. I don't know how it works. I usually, when I come to the beach, I have my own stuff, so I just you know play around. So the next or oh, this stop is uh, Vista Mar Street, and we are currently going up north, and we are on A One A or Las Fort Lauderdale Beach Boulevard. They has, there's two names so you can refer it as a A1A a or Fort Lauderdale Beach Boulevard making sure that we're driving correctly nothing is weird I was thinking I was, I was gonna drive all the way to Sunrise Boulevard make a left and just go home but I decided I'm gonna go all the way to Commercial Boulevard so you guys can see um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be driving um, recording next so I think, you know, we can do that. We can do the drive. It's not that far anyway, it's just a couple blocks. So yeah, so you see people are like roller skating and I haven't done that in since I was a kid. So the hotel on the left is the Sonesta. Um, so yeah, so this is Northeast uh, 9th Street, which is not a major, it's just a, internal street between these streets um these roads is that that thing um i don't know i don't remember what is the rule with carrying like the guy a huge um, 12 packs of coronas I'm not sure if that you have to hide in your cooler or can you still walk around like that I don't remember uh, but I think there's something like that that you're not allowed to carry that in public you have to like kind of hide it in a you know brown bag or in your cooler or in your cob so you have to check that out I'll try to check it out and let you know in the comments but please do subscribe, like, and share if you that, like these kind of videos. I guess I'm just studying and I um, wanted to show my city. I don't think there's enough videos to show how beautiful my city is. And I think I am going to be doing that. If you like more videos, you have more suggestions, please let me know. Again, I do videos on the Fort Lauderdale in Broward County area. So please leave the comment down below. And I would also like to know... What if you're watching or whoever's watching it's just me <laughs> where are you watching from i want to know like what state uh, what's the weather like right now and you know if you watching from a different country same you know what country and you know what's the weather like right now we obviously are in winter in florida but there's no such a thing of winter we have sunshine 24 7 <laughs> with exceptions last weekend was like chill for us, I know up there, up north in other countries is brutal, but not for us, it was 16 at one, 62, which was like brutal for us. <laughs> but yeah. So as you can see, 
I think I show my previous videos that um, the street was were empty, so we have only one lane to go uh, north and go go south. The other line on the right side is for parking. How parking works is um, you can pay by phone. That's literally the website, pay by phone. Uh, you just have to make sure to check what's the number of the parking area. In this case, for example, it's 1168. So they will ask you for your plate number, um, the parking number, station number, um, and then, yeah, you put it how long you're gonna stay and then you just pay by phone, you put your credit card. I'm not sure if those paid meters are still taking cash because I remember they were doing cashless things, so you have to check. But I know the pay meters take like credit cards or debit cards, but I'm not sure if they do cash. Um, so yeah, you have to double check. I usually just have it on my phone, so just do the whole website thing. Or you can download the app if you wanna stay in here for a long time couple weeks it's better just to have the app yeah and in the city of Fort Lauderdale if you have a handicap decal in your car or your plate number you are allowed to park up to four hours um, and you're not gonna get a ticket that's my understanding you have to double check again See that lifeguard chilling? Oh, that's a life. I was a lifeguard, uh, but I have not renewed my stuff. I never really actually work. I just got the certification. I don't think I should say that. <laughs> it's a private life, but you know, it's not a bad idea to just you know train yourself to be a lifeguard just in case. We have a lot of buildings, you know, they're constructing a lot of constructions. Um, Fort Lauderdale is always growing, it's a fast growing city. Um, also, like majority of these like apartment complex that you see here, are, we're not here, like a couple, so 2018, 2019, they were not here. Like these two ones, yeah, they're old. On the right side, they're old, but the ones on the left, I don't know if my camera is focused and I cannot move it because I'm driving. Um, no, they're brand new, um, they're just open like new like boutique hotels um not you know the chain hotels like the hilton other ones this one are more small there's motels and let me tell you something the motels are pretty good if you don't want to pay like 700 dollars at night at the ritz carlton because that's the price on off season just so you know um you can get one of these motels or like you know i guess small business like a boutique and literally we are in the beach you just like if you're on the right side you just walk like half a block and you're in the beach there's no other streets to cross or anything you're literally in the beach so maybe that's a different option for you if you're looking for a budget uh, what's it called a little vacation and make sure you fly on spirit airlines <laughs> so <laughs> i'm laughing because i mean i i fly in spirit and you know if you're from you're in the united states you're familiar with spirit airlines um, yeah, they charge you for everything, even the restroom. Just kidding, not the restroom, but probably the way eventually. Um, yeah, so you know, just bring your backpack, I guess. But I mean, if you want, if you're on the budget and you're able to pack a little, like a minimalist, um, you can, you know, pull this off. Anyways, you don't need that many clothes in here. We're in Fort Lauderdale. Look at this heat. It's currently um, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it just went up so you don't need that many clothes you can pack everything in your backpack and if anything you can always buy it, buy it here because we have ross for less and other stores that are extremely cheap so yeah that's an option um this major strip is oakland park i did show you guys in a previous video that i usually drove west and that will land me in um sawgrass mill mall and this is the end of Oakland Park, which is the beach. That's where it takes you. We're gonna experience a little bit of traffic because it's four o'clock. And yeah, this time, I, you know, a lot of schools are out. 
a lot of people from the office are getting out so you know it's, it's gonna be congested a little congested uh, yeah again we're going north on a1a If you have time and you don't have any set up plan, you can always, you know, walk all the way north. We have a lot of piers, um, the one in commercial, the one that a lot of by the sea. And if you keep going up, there's a lot of them. So you you have a Dania Beach. You have a bunch of options. Um, food related, it depends what you like. I totally would recommend you Pollo Tropical. That's you know native from South Florida. I grew up with that. Um, I cannot live without Pollo Tropical. <laughs> so if you have different tastes, we have different cuisines, so I'm sure you can find something that would suit them for you. And then um, if you take in or ride in the bus, the 72 will take you. I'm not sure, I can remember where, what is the stop? Oh crap. Second, let me get out of this way because these two just randomly almost park in the middle of the next line. So I wanted to show you how a Monday afternoon looks like in South Florida, specifically in Fort Lauderdale Beach. We are getting going to Lauderdale by the sea, which is the same in the city of Fort Lauderdale. A local if you're not currently working at your office job or whatever you're working you're either doing errands or you are laying down on the beach but usually yeah there's a time that we usually very don't go to the beach we don't go between 10 and 2 that's a little too crazy that's too hot that's the tourist time <laughs> we don't go at a, around those times just so you know if you want to meet a local a local um, all these buildings um, on the right side their apartment complex their resorts rent them um, yeah so we enter into um lottery by the sea that's another sitting within uh fort lauderdale and you can see a lot of constructions um i wonder what they're gonna do oh yeah and i spoke about this the sign that we just passed uh before about the the total nest nesting season which is from march to october but in reality it's all year round I did dim, dim the lights around the uh, beach um, area, um, so it, it, it gets a little dark at night, and then, you know, the, there's no like flashy lights and stuff like that, like South Beach. Um, no, it's it's a little bit dimmer because you know the the, the, the total nesting situa situation. I have never um, encountered one of those in all my years, like basically my entire life that I'm here. Uh, maybe I'm not looking. I haven't searched. You know, in the total system. So I can look and see how the, the whole nesting goes. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna be ending this video soon. Uh, so I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you're watching, whoever's watching, um, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy this drive. Again, I'm just two videos, driving videos around the Fort Lauderdale and Broward County area. So if you're interested, please, you know, comment um, what, what, what else you would like to see, what do you want me to drive, and I will definitely check on that. Again, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice Monday afternoon.